Okay, so let's take a look at question number five here, where we're asked to find the ratio of the volume of a ball um, to the volume of the box. And what we have is a case where the ball actually uh, fits perfectly inside the box. So it's, um, it's pre-configured to that. So what we have is we have two volumes and we need to figure out what the ratio is. And it says here, no, it does not matter what the size of the ball is. Okay, so they don't give us any numbers, so we have to think about how we, we're going to look at this and how we're going to, to solve it. So we are looking for the ratio of volumes. So we should start out by calculating the volume. So we have the sphere, or we have the ball. So let's look at that first. We know the volume of the ball is given by a formula of 4 thirds pi and it is marked in the volume here as our certain radius r cubed. So that much we know. The next thing we have to do is look at what is the volume of the box. So volume of the box is equal to just the length times the width times the height. Now because it's a cube, um, all sides are the same, so we can say that it is equal to the side cubed. Okay, now how do we compare these two? Well, the first thing we need, we need to notice is that the side is equal to twice the radius. Okay, so that's one thing that we should need to note, that the side of the cube is equal to two times the radius, which means our volume of the box is equal to 2R um, all cubed. Okay, so that means 2 times R times 2 times r times 2 times r. So if we simplify that, we're just going to get 8r cubed. Okay, so if we go through that, those give us two algebraic expressions. Now the thing we need to notice is that both expressions are written in terms of the radius now. So this allows us to actually do a ratio that can be somewhat meaningful. So we're actually asked to find the ratio of the ball divided by the ratio of the box. So it's just going to end up being a number. Okay, so we know the expression for the ball. So we'll write that down. 4 thirds pi r cubed. And we're going to divide that by the volume of the box, which we know is 8 r cubed. Okay, now because both of these expressions have a common term of r cubed in them, that actually will cancel. So we're left with an expression that is simply going to be 4 thirds pi. Uh, remember the big sign fraction means divide, so I'm just gonna write it like this. 4 thirds pi divided by eight. Now we could convert that to a decimal, but often in questions like this, we just wanna get it exact. So we'll just do a little bit more um, algebra work here, number analysis. We're gonna have 4 thirds pi. Now remember, to divide by a number is the same as multiplying by its reciprocal. So we're going to multiply by the fraction 1 over 8. And that lets us simplify this in terms of what we've got, which is going to give us 4 pi over 24. Or if we reduce this to a uh, lowest common fraction, 4 will go into the top once and 4 will go into 24 six times. So that means the ratio of the ball to the box is given by a constant value of pi divided by 6. And so that's what they're implying in the question that it doesn't matter what the size of the ball is. This relationship holds true no matter what radius you have, which is kind of neat. So that in a question like this, you actually do not need to know the measurement. You automatically will know what the ratio is by this factor um, because the math is telling us that. Okay, so that's the way you have to approach this question. You have to get the, both expressions in terms of the radius.